I'm MJ Marfori, and this is Celebrity Top 10. We give you the latest, the juiciest, and the hottest entertainment news, mapalokal man o international. Yan ang hatid namin sa inyo because here's a countdown you shouldn't miss the new normal. You can't resist. Come on, it's a Thursday. Simulan natin with today's number 10. Timothy Chalamet reunites with Luca Guadagnino in Bones and All. Yup, he is set to reunite with his Call Me By Your Name director for a new film. Bones and All is based on a novel with the same name by Camille DeAngelis. It tells a story of a woman who searches for her father, trying to understand why she has the urge to kill and eat people. Well, para Hannibal Lecter. Anyway, guys, Timothy will be joined by Taylor Russell in new movie as well. And yes, Bones and All will be under MGM. Grabe, nakakatakot! Some more casting news for Oppenheimer. Yes, Alex Wolf will be joining. He is the latest addition to the cast, according to The Hollywood Reporter. And Alex's role is not yet announced. He will be joining star-studded cast led by OMG, Cillian Murphy. Oh, okay, sorry. Kinikilig ako kasi nanonood talaga ako ng Peaky Blinders, I swear. And I really, really adore Cillian Murphy. He's like the type of the actor that when I was younger, I, you know, yun, yung naaanoy ka sa face. Pero grabe yung performance niya sa Peaky Blinders. Ito, it got me by Omicron. I love it. During the lockdown wave, right? Yan natang yung pinanood ko. Anyway, balikan natin to. Let's circle back to Oppenheimer. And Cillian Murphy is going to be with Matt Damon, Robert Downey Jr., Emily Blunt, Florence Pugh, and many more. Imagine that. Filming is ongoing in New Mexico. The movie is directed by Christopher Nolan. It tells about the story of J. Robert Oppenheimer, who's said to be the father of the, guess what, atomic bomb. <laughs> Uh, David Beckham did a good thing. He handed his Instagram account to a Ukrainian doctor. Soccer superstar, a legend, David Beckham handed over his Instagram account to a doctor helping women give birth in the Ukrainian city of Kharkiv. And David was so touched about the doctor's work that he asked followers to check out Irina, a child anesthesiologist and her team who actively put out amid the conflict. As we all know, David is also an ambassador for the UNICEF and he's one of the celebrities who actively pushes the followers to support the organization's work in Ukraine. Here's what he said. Hi everyone, so I'm handing over my social media to Irina, the head of the Regional Perinatal Center in Kharkiv, Ukraine. There, she is working with pregnant mothers to help them give birth safely. Thanks to your donations, the oxygen generators they have received are helping newborns survive in appalling conditions. Head over to my stories to learn more about the amazing work that Irina and health workers like her are doing to save lives. Please continue to support these incredible people and charities like UNICEF in any way that you can. Together, we can really make a difference. Thank you. Galing, no? Yung mga gusto ko sa mga celebrity of the stature, na kahit na super, 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 super star sila, alam mo yon, they really choose to use their platform in any way they can for the good. There's a question, is Dolly Parton going to do a musical biopic? Yes, the country music superstar Dolly Parton herself brought up in an interview in the radio show Mr. Nashville Speaks. She said that she's considering bringing up her story to the big screen via musical biopic. She adds that she and her team were already in talks with producers and the possibility of a Broadway musical adaptation. Just that pandemic happened, causing the conversations to get delayed, as with a lot of projects as well. But now, let's see, it's on the table again. And, well, for the fans, we do hope it pushes through, won't we? Now it can be announced with certainty. Puwapalakpak na ako dahil Beyonce ito! Yes, 
to Beyonce and Billie Eilish to perform at the Oscars. Oh, oh final na, guys. The Academy has confirmed that Beyonce and Billie Eilish will perform their Oscar-nominated songs live on the awarding ceremony. Yup, Beyonce will be singing a live from the movie King Richard. Billie Eilish and her brother Phineas O'Connell will team up for the James Bond movie song No Time to Die. Meanwhile, another confirmed performer, Becca McIntyre, will perform sound how you do from the movie Four Good Days. And Sebastian Yatra will belt out Deuce Orguitas from Encanto or Dos Orguitas. The fifth nominee for Best Original Song from Belfast will not be performing. Van Morrison declined due to tour schedule. All right. Well, interesting lineup so far. Well, I just want to run down our schedule. We're 4.15 p.m. on One News. Replays at 10 on One PH. We're on Radio Cinco 92.3 News FM. Hello to everybody listening to us via the radio airwaves. And, of course, online all over the world via our YouTube and Facebook pages. Also, I just want to say uh, hi to the All Addicts and the OMG supporters. Hola. We went straight to number five because our topic is Amanda Bynes, who is released from conservatorship. Yes, so that means she is released from her parents' legal control after nine years. Amanda was placed in conservatorship in 2013 after multiple arrests and reports of bad behavior due to, of course, some substance abuse. The actress filed for termination from her conservatorship last month because she believed her condition has already improved. The termination was achieved in a short period of time because Amanda's parents are in full support of it. Tahray Resorts World Manila sw switches to cage-free eggs. O, oh, diba? Consumer-related naman tayo. Pero alam naman natin, we'll always go to Resorts World Manila to watch the concert. Hi, Joy! Yes, so they're committed to join the global shift towards the use of only cage-free eggs across all hotels and food and beverage outlets in by 2025 as part of its Sustainable Culinary Initiative. Yup. They did achieve that and it is going well. And parang hindi sila tama. Yung pandemic, of course, natama na tama na pandemic. But what I mean is, sobrang dahil pa rin tao sa resource world if you see it. So research by the European Food Safety Authority and others have found that cage-free eggs farm up to 25 times less likely to be contaminated with key strains of salmonella compared to hens raised in cages. I understand that. <laughs> Diego Loizaga and Barbie Imperial exchange comments on Instagram and it is hot, hot, hot. Are they again? Nagtutuksuan sa Instagram. So, well, Barbie posted her photo on Instagram flaunting her newly colored hair. In the comment section, Diego posted Poison Ivy prompting Barbie to reply, Ako nga pala yung sinayang mo. Wow, Diego replied, Are you sure? How cute! The exchange of comments between the two sparked some hope for their fans. Recently, Diego said that Barbie and him are really good friends. And yes, we do hope it remains that way. After 18 long years, Aubrey Miles and Troy Montero are headed down the aisle. They are now engaged. Well, it was confusing at first because they had uh, this... Pro, promo years back, right? Wherein we thought that they got wedded or or engaged. But no, this is the time that they are engaged. They did post their engagement on Instagram showing their sweet moment while in Boracay. Troy and Aubrey started dating back in 2003. They do have two children, Hunter and or Hunter Cody and Rocket. Audrey, Aubrey has a son oh, named John Maurice from a previous relationship. Anyway, all the best to both of them. We are very happy. Erich Gonzalez is now married. Yes, talaga mga parang pang February mga 
kwento natin, di ba? Well, married na siya sa non-showbiz partner na si Mateo Lorenzo. The ceremony took place in a Catholic church in Muntinlupa City. Andres Lorenzo, one of the family members of Mateo, posted a photo but deleted it immediately. Last month, wedding dance showing the photos of Erich and Mateo went viral online. Hence, fans got the idea that Erich is getting married. Congratulations! We respect their privacy. We know we they don't want to talk about it. We respect it totally. But congratulations from your fans, supporters, and all else, Erich. Anyway, we can't wait until you're ready to talk about it. But yeah, now it's the end of the show. We just want to say please take care to everyone. And please, there's still pandemic out there. Wear a mask, disinfect, practice social distancing, get vaccinated or boosted. That's it for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow, mga kapatid. We're 4.15 p.m. on One News with Replace at 10 on One PH. We are on Radio 592.3 News FM. You can follow me on my socials. It's MJ Mar 40 all across. Thank you so much for joining me, listening to the show. Let us know what topics you want to talk about. Again, we're signing off for today. We'll see you tomorrow, Friday. This is Celebrity Top 10. Ta-ta!